We'll be keeping a close eye as to whether or not there will be any shots from distance in the Super Cup, which of course is this week. Bayern taking on Borussia Dortmund. Are you people excited by this in Germany? Yes. Ish. Because <laughs> there's a lot of... <laughs> That's not what I meant to say, is it? <laughs> Look, there's a lot of games right now. And I think that from, from a buy-in point of view, it's how can how can they manage it physically when Hansi Flick has not had the new signings come in that he was expecting from Hassan Salihamidzic. It is an exciting prospect, particularly from a Dortmund point of view, because you know they're going to get more space to run into uh, than, they will against, than they would have got against Augsburg at the weekend. And I have to say... To be honest, the best half of football I've seen in the last year was the Dortmund Bayern game that we had uh, back over the summer, mm -hmm. uh, which ultimately decided the Bundesliga title. So I think it is going to be exciting to see how Dortmund react uh, and, and, and Bayern too, because I, you could tell, for example, that Thomas Muller was really smarting after that. And I, and I think as well, I can't remember Alfonso Davies having as bad a game as that. Uh, for, for Bayern yet. So he's got to find his rhythm. I'm looking forward to seeing how he comes back and rises to the challenge, particularly because Muller has said a, li a little bit in the past now that if Alfonso Davies drops off his game, Muller will be there to chevy, a, to chevy him along and be like, hey, what's up here? So I think there's, there's quite a few interesting battles to look out for. Uh, especially considering what happened to both sides this weekend, Steve, I suppose that set things up quite nicely, actually, for this game on Wednesday. Uh, I agree, but I do think in this particular game, Borussia Dortmund have more to lose than, than Bayern Munich. I think everybody expects Bayern to win, and um, you know they are in better form if we just kind of take the performance away on the weekend. Um, and I and I do expect Bayern to win this game um, and and quite handily. Although you know Archie have a point to say that Dortmund will have more room on the counter attack. They are extremely good on the counter attack. They have their players suit that. It's more of a younger squad, and they have more creativity and freedom. Um, to, to break down the creativity on the counterattack. Um, and the other, th the other thing we have to see, too, is, you know, this, this five in the back that uh, Borussia Dortmund now plays with, or without three, and then when they defend without the ball five, um, really get, sucks out those outside backs of Bayern Munich. And a young Alfonso Davies isn't quite sure yet, do I go, do I stay? And that space in behind him is being exposed. Um, it was against Hoffenheim, and if, if Borussia Dortmund do their homework right, I'm sure they'll look at that and, and try to send some players into that open space. Well, Archie mentioned it, Bayern Munich maybe not making the reinforcements to the squad that they were hoping to. Serginho Desk, of course, heavily linked to a move to Bayern, however, heading to Barcelona, according to reports. Steve, do you like this move for him? I think for him it's smart, and I think any big move for younger players, it's extremely important to get games. Um, and I know at both clubs it would be difficult for him to get, get games, but you know, having a Dutch coach and uh, somebody who played for Ajax and who knows the club very well, um, may give him the benefit of the doubt to get on the field. You know, once he's on the field, it's up to him to stay there. But I do think it's a good move. Um, great for American soccer and yeah. obviously uh, great for Sergio Dest. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.